All right, so I just want to show you guys how I mean my connection here as uh, this this motherboard doesn't have a HDMI connection so as you can see I have the VGA cable there attached to my monitor and I got the memory installed also the MSATA uh, SSD installed I already have Windows in it I already have a nice hash uh, quick miner in it so yeah CPU installed and as you can see right here I supply the power on one of the uh, six pins connector uh, six pins connector from the side and uh, the 24 pins connector here I already have that uh, jumper uh, kind of uh, uh, plug with a jumper wire here to force the power supply to uh, turn on and of course I have the power cable plug it in there and yeah so this uh, uh, this plug here you can also use this as a, a tool to test your power supply let's say if your power su if your computer doesn't turn on and then you don't know if it's the motherboard CPU or the power supply you can just unplug the 24 pins connector and then plug this in and then it will and then switch the if you have the power switch at the back you can just cycle that switch uh, off and on and then if the, your power supply turns on with this uh, plug here it means your power supply is working properly so it's not the power supply failure but if it doesn't turn on with this plug it means your power supply is kaput so if you use the uh, GPUs, you have to power all of them because the GPUs will require more current you want you don't want to power the motherboard with single cable like this with the running GPUs. also you can power from here as you can see I put the arrow it means this one is like uh, to power the motherboard and this one to power the GPUs. I'm gonna show you guys that later. Alright, I got the my friend's uh, 3060 here. This is LHR version. This is Soza. And I got the HDMI dummy. So we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna do is gonna plug this one first without the uh, Without the HDMI dummy, let's see what what's the hash rate we're gonna get, and then we'll plug this in after. All right, so as you can see here, I'm running the uh, stable version of the nice hash. This is uh, the icon. There is a stable version of the quick miner, and that's the RC version with has the unlock. And with a dummy plug-in on the 3060 with a B85-BTC motherboard, I'm only getting 25.19 mega hash per second on the same settings, which is medium settings. Alright, so without the HDMI dummy plug, it uh, shows here like 22.13 mega hash per second. I already updated the night hash, the 
LHR unlock version. Let's plug in the uh, HDMI dummy and let's see what's uh, the improvement. So as you can see HDMI dummy is plugged in and uh, there is no improvement at all. It's like 20, 192.92, 21.71. Okay, so I'm gonna try the first uh, slot here and uh, the one that is really close to the CPU. And as you can see, I'm powering the motherboard through here and then I'm gonna power the GPU from the motherboard as well. As I said, this is like input, this is output. It's going to the GPU using this uh, Okay, so HDMI dummy plugin, and as you can see, there's no difference. Still 28 uh, megahash per second. It didn't make any difference. As you can see there, right? The driver is uh, 47005, and that's a 3060. And I plug it into the first slot, which is really close to the CPU. So that said, no, it's this motherboard is just like uh, same as the uh, BTC T37, D37, and S37 that he has. Like uh, uh, times one speed of the PCIe slot. So yeah. So the only difference is this one doesn't have doesn't come with the <coughs> CPU built in. Otherwise, uh, yeah. So there's no difference. It's still 28. Mega hash per second with the four seven zero that's zero five driver and the HDMI dummy plugin that's thirty sixty regular thirty sixty and as you can see guys that I'm powering the motherboard from uh, this connector here and then I'm getting the I'm powering the GPU from the motherboard using this connector here as I said this is in this is out you cannot interchange them otherwise it won't turn on or you can power this motherboard as well yeah. on this side here all right. all right so since we're going to run two gpus 
at the same time so I added one more cable as you can see here I have two cables plug in on the side here to power the motherboard because uh, two GPU is gonna draw more current so even though it's only for testing it's, I have cables anyway that's what I said like if you're going to run eight GPUs you have to connect all these connectors here so that it can handle the current that is gonna draw by eight GPUs I already shut it down actually so let's install this one here oh before that let's plug in the cable again I'm gonna get the the power of the GPU from the motherboard and remember this is the uh, output to go to the GPU and this is the input if you want to power the motherboard from here okay but for now let's do this one here oops why doesn't go in there you go and then we can plug in our GPU this is a 1660 super and then we can compare in and plug in the eight pins right let's uh, power it on Oh, 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 that's another thing you have to be careful the wiring that's why you have to do the wire, wire management kind of thing but this is just for testing oh, but it's not gonna touch it again let's see I think I have to reinstall the driver for the 1660 hopefully not probably just I just have to restart it we'll see Go to device manager. Oh, yeah, it's already there, I guess. Graphics 4400, 4436E. No, it's not there yet. So I have to, I suppose, to install this. <laughs> There you go. Now the 1660 Super is showing the, the 4400. That's the uh, the graphics from the CPU. So let's uh, what I'd like to do is it says it has the update. Let's say update it again. I thought I already updated it earlier. So as you just to let you know, guys, that we are running the regular one. The stable version of the quick miner yeah so that said if uh, you have 3060 and you want to use this motherboard 3060 LHR or non LHR I would recommend running the newer version of the nice has quick miner which is the logo is right there the old version logo is right like that and yep Alright guys, that's it for this video today. Hopefully you guys find this uh, informative and uh, useful and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get more video card. I'm really looking just for the 1660 Super to fill this uh, motherboard up and I have another uh, BTC S37 which is sitting in my closet. So right now I can, you know, I have two 8 GPUs, riserless motherboard and I also have another empty slot on my BTC D37 so I could accommodate another 8, 8, 16 plus 1 that's 17 uh, uh, GPUs but again it's kind of still hard to to find GPUs right now you have to line up like very long lineup you're lucky if you get there first and then you can get what you want anyway guys thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one